Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting, and today we're looking at this guy. Who is this? This is a psych light, and we're going to cover what's a psych light, do you need it, and is the Gamma Luxe Bloom psych light the one for you? Let's dive in. Welcome here to Learn Stage Lighting Gear. I'm David, and if you're new here, what we do is we help people find and understand the lighting gear they're looking at so that you can make the best decision when you're looking to purchase. We're dealers for uh, most of the brands commonly out there at the entry to mid-level, uh, and some of the pro-level stuff too. And uh, our goal is to help you find the right thing, um, and oftentimes that is not the thing that makes us the most money, but the thing uh, that builds the long-term relationship of trust between you and us. So if you're um, on board for that, give this a big subscribe, and let's dive in. So a psych light is a light that is designed for washing walls, particularly psychs. Now, a psych or cyclorama is a theatrical style curtain. It's typically made of muslin, uh, which is like a, a tan, very light tan fabric that then can be stretched with weight in the bottom, usually pipe or chain, um, when it's hung. And it gives you a flat, smooth surface when it's had a day or two to get the wrinkles out. Okay? So when you put lights on a psych, you just get smooth light. Okay? Really smooth. Um, and and in, in this opportunity, the cool thing about this light is you're able to do some different color stuff too. As you can see here, we've got a color gradient going uh, between red and blue. And so um, what are we talking about here? So um, looking at the physical, I'm just going to power it off for a hot second. Um, what we have here is a well-built fixture, nothing fancy going on, um, but nice handles on it. Uh, Omega brackets for hanging, nice rubber feet. Um, otherwise, DMX3 pin in and out, power con, and a menu system that my only caveat is that uh, as of this uh, prototype unit, uh, when you set the DMX address, it takes about 60 seconds before it takes effect, which is a little bit annoying, but not unbearable. Uh, Gamma said they're going to work on fixing that before the release, and I hope they do. But regardless, um, other than that, uh, user interface is, is pretty nice. Um, it does from the factory, at least this model um, was set to go to auto programs whenever it lost DMX, but there was a mode called blackout. You hit yes, everything was fine. Okay, let's talk about the light output. So, wow, well, I dropped my power cable. The, uh, the, the biggest part of the bloom here, what's going on, is you've got two sets of red, green, blue, white RGBW arrays of LEDs. So these are individually focusable, as you can see. So that means if you're really close to a wall, you focus them in, you know, maybe much more vertical. If you're further away, they're going to be more horizontal. And you can adjust the spread between the two segments, and they're tightenable, uh, in order to get the amount of evenness you need, depending on how far away you are. Now, most applications will put these on the ground or in the air. I would say anywhere from about one to four feet from the wall. You can go right up to it, uh, but it is, it's a little better to get away. So this fixture is um, it's really in line with traditional old school lamp based psych units where you didn't want to have them right up against the curtain. You wanted to have them a foot or two away um, and that way you could get a lot of coverage out of them. Now this has a uh, 90 by 120 wide 90 so it's like 90 vertical 120 wide beam angle um, and it has a really soft uh, offset at the edges. A really soft feathering of the light as you'll see here. Um, the only downside as I go grab my power cable to plug it in, the only downside I have on this guy is that it does not have RDM. Okay, so no remote device management. Um, for something that's permanently installed that's an LED, a lot of times I don't see the need for that. On shows, uh, if you're doing live shows with them, yeah you'll have to set the addresses on each unit instead of RDM. Not the end of the world. Um, you know, for me, for most people, I, I know RDM is nice to have, but not required. Okay, so really good quality build. I like the feel of everything. Um, it is fan-cooled, but it's not loud, so uh, do be aware of that. 
And um, so let's look at how this thing actually lights. So we've got a wider camera today um, and our, our normal camera. And what we can really see is, I mean, I can take this guy and say I'm, I'm maybe five feet away from the wall. I take my bottom segment uh, maybe just up a little bit and my second segment, if I feather that in to pick up where the first segment picks off, now we get into the roof, but I'm going up all the way, so that's about nine feet, 10. So bottom section here, about four feet from the wall, straight on, I easily got 10 good feet of coverage, okay? And then I pick up, and I know you can't see this, but I've got another 10 good feet of coverage. Um, I would say based on my testing of this unit, you can expect 20 to 25 feet of coverage in the right circumstances, okay, of smooth, even light. So this isn't the, the light to put up against a brick wall to see all the texture. You would want a strip light for that. But this is where you get a really smooth, really nice, even wash that you can adjust. So you can make it shorter and punchier or uh, much bigger and smooth. And you've got those two independent segments, whether you put them in different colors or go ahead and I'll grab, uh, I'll grab number one here and turn him to blue, okay? And uh, red, green, blue, white, lots of great colors. Um, so I can put them both on blue and get, and get a really good even coverage of blue here. Um, as I look at it on camera, let's see. We get a little bit of a hot spit on camera, which is pretty typical for LEDs, but overall a really nice wash of light. Okay, let's run through some colors super quick. So, uh, in terms of colors here, I'm just going to pop this off and run a rainbow effect on it. In terms of colors, it's able to make um, a bunch of different colors, uh, both pastel and regular. Um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary for LED. Um, they, they generally look pretty good. Uh, exceptionally deep purples and violets aren't... Um, they're all right. Um, let's go and mix a violet real quick. See if we can if we can show this uh, on the camera. Oops! Kick that back off. Make ourselves blue with a little bit of red. So you're not going to get the colors you get out of a cycloid that you buy from like ETC, right? If you go and buy one of their seven color units, uh, and you know, and, and you wash a cycle with it with one of their battens, um, yeah you know, it's going to look better than the bloom. But I would say you get a lot of great colors. And for the price that they're asking for this thing, I really wouldn't argue with it. <laughs> um, you know, the, the yellows, as you probably saw a minute ago, if we pop this, uh, go make a yellow here. The yellows are not like weird and alien green. You're able to make some nice straw, nice warm yellows, um, nice warm oranges, you know, all the colors do look pretty good. The, the blue-purple is a hair weak, but that's nothing that most LED fixtures uh, don't have anyways. Um, but overall, you know, colors look really good. As you can, you can see here as we, we look at single colors, you know, we got a nice orange here. And then try not to knock my laptop over and uh, go to uh, magenta. Maybe I'm going to take back what I said about the violet. Actually, these make these make good violets. They do. I apologize for saying that. Go to white. We can make a variety of whites from a very stark white um, to a much warmer white. If we pop down the blue here. I'm able to get some good warm whites. It looks really nice. Looks good on camera. And I mean, coverage wise, you know, if we're four feet away and we're covering vertical. 120 degrees and that's like 20 feet. I mean this this office here is 16 feet wide and I would wow. say at about four or five feet from the wall we're covering a good 10 to 12 feet of that uh, with just one light. Okay, so like if you're thinking about lighting a wall, you know, just like I'm doing here um, and you were thinking about running strip lights across it, you know, that can work but honestly a lesser number of a dedicated cycle light like these can often really be the ticket and, and really give you the look you're going for. And so that's really who this is for. Um, the Bloom Psych, you know, is, is definitely not a fixture for, you know, band lighting typically. But for those of you that have some sort of permanent venue, uh, maybe you've got a Psych, a nice back wall, 
Uh, maybe it's a church, maybe it's a theater. It, it could be a band. Um, and you want to wash that wall with really good consistent light, then uh, the Bloom from Gamma may just be the one from you. Uh, it makes a lot of great colors, and um, you can see, I mean, it's, it's, it's really well priced. Um, you get, you know, some really nice pastels, really nice warm colors. Again, my, my only caveat on this is like, you know, that it doesn't have 16-bit dimming, uh, like units that cost three times the, the cost. Um, and, you know, the depth of some of the purples isn't quite to the same place as units that are three times the cost. Um, but then again, that should be acceptable. Um, as you can see probably on camera here, it, it is making some very nice colors um, and uh, overall looks good. So if you think a psych light might be what you need, do let us know over at Learn Stage Lighting Gear. Hop over to our contact form or add some blooms to your cart and uh, go ahead and request a quote and we would be glad to help you determine if it's the right fixture for you and get you that personalized pricing. Uh, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe here to Learn Stage Lighting Gear to get our next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.